Hi Special Agents, Commander G back again with some more arithmetic special agent training for you. This is part four, finding fractions of numbers in a little bit more detail. Remember, this is top secret information. Don't share it with anybody else. Okay, so let's break it down into separate skills. Now, sometimes it will just say half. You need to know that that one and that line and that two means half of 14. And when we have a number, we already know that we divide by two. And last week's video showed us how to do that. Let's start with no fingers up and counting twos until we get to 14. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And the answer is just seven. You also might be able to link what you know about your doubles to halves. Half of 14 is 7 and double 7 is 14. So when you see a half in a fraction, that's not that tricky. You can use your dividing by 2 skills to get that done. But they don't always make it that simple, guys. Sometimes they want you to draw it out. And we're going to learn how to draw these out to find fractions of numbers. We're going to do it now and we're going to do it in class. All I want you to do is have a look. Have a listen and see which bits you can pick up. So this one says, find one third of 12. Now the bottom number tells us how many boxes we're going to share between. So when we find thirds, we split things into equal groups of three. So you can draw three boxes. Then we're going to draw 12 dots and do a box at a time to make it equal or the same. Off we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've just shared twelve be between three to find one third. Now we only need to find one third. So how many dots are in one box? That's right, one third of twelve is four. And you are allowed to draw this out in your special agent task. Drawing it out will really help you. Well done, guys. This time we're going to find one quarter of twenty-four. So we're finding quarters. We need to split these into four boxes. So we need to draw four boxes and then we need to get sharing twenty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Did you see me? Did you let realised it wasn't equal? I had to change it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nearly there. 21, 22, 23 and 24 and you nearly saw me make a mistake I realized that I had gone too quick I put a dot in a box and I hadn't done it in the order we've got to all practice even Mrs G so we've now we've split the 24 into quarters we only need to work out what one quarter of 24 is how many dots are in one box that's right one quarter of 24 is six well done okay now this one says one quarter of 12 so we need to draw four boxes because the bottom number of the fraction, the denominator, tells us that. So let's draw four boxes and now we need to share 12 out. Off we go. One, two, three, four, keep going, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now the top number is one, so you only need to tell me how many dots are in one box to find one quarter. That's right, one quarter of 12 is three. Well done, guys. Okay, one quarter of four. The bottom number wants us to draw four boxes. We're finding quarters, splitting into four or sharing into four equal groups. Draw your boxes first and let's get sharing these four dots out. Off we go, one, two, three, four. Well done. What's one quarter of four? How many dots in one box? That's right. One quarter of four is one. Well done. Now, we're going to learn to count in threes soon because if you can count in threes, you don't have to draw three boxes to find a third. You can use what you know about threes. I'm going to sing it and then we'll sing it together. 
join in with the bits you know and this we're going to be loads of chances to learn this in class three six nine 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 twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven and don't forget 30 and 33 and 36 3 6 9 9 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 and don't forget 30 and 33 and 36 so if we wanted to find one third of nine or nine divided by three if you knew how to count in threes you could start with no fingers up and say three six nine 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 and get the answer three if you're not sure about your threes yet we can draw three boxes and we can get sharing are you ready to find out one third of nine or to share nine equally between three let's get drawing one two three four five six seven eight nine what is one third of nine how many dots are in one box that's right three well done what about one third of eighteen so if you're not sure about how to count in threes we'll go, we're going to draw it out it's always better to draw it out to double check you've got the answer and it does take a little bit of time but a good special agent never rushes so we're finding one third that means we've drawn we're sharing between three let's get drawing these 18 dots one oops come on mr dot we're waiting for you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen we made it and one third is how many dots in one box count them carefully one third of 18 is six well done what about one third of 15 how many threes make 15 not confident with your threes that doesn't matter we can draw three boxes and we can draw it out let's get going are we ready let's get sharing one come on mr dot he's been cheeky special agents two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and we're checking for one third how many dots in one box count carefully one third of fifteen is five well done now if you can count in threes or use a fact you already know to find one third of 30. When the numbers get too big, we can't be drawing the dots. We would be here forever. So three times something is 30. Can you use what you already know, a different times table, to tell me what you think one third of 30 is? Or can we try and count in threes? I know. Let's try and count in threes. Start with no fingers up. I'm here to help you. 3, 6, 9, 9, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and don't forget 30. I've got 10 fingers up, and I also know that 3 times 10 is 30. When the numbers start to grow, use facts you already know. Well done. Okay. When numbers get bigger, it would take too long to draw them out. Using number facts or splitting the number into smaller chunks will help you find the answer. It will really help you if you know your halves off by heart. That means without having to work them out, especially for bigger numbers. Have you checked out the newest Harving Harry's Chop Shop song? That will really help you. So can you use what you already know? Do you know what half of 90 is? Now, Harvin Harry tells you in the song, and you've not got time to draw this out. Okay, so we've got nine lots of ten, ninety. Now, if you don't know what half of ninety is, let's do it together. So half is splitting it between two. And here come the tens. Okay, so let's split them up. We've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. 80. Now we've only got one 10 left and we can't put it in what just one of the boxes because it has to be shared equally. So we're going to have to split 10 in half and half of 10 is 5. So half of 90 is 4 10s and 5 1s. Half of 90 is 45. Chop, 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 chop. 
okay do you know what half of 70 is so again help helpful if you go back and learn the song and see if you can learn them off by heart let's share 70 between two seven tens between two let's have a go and it's perfectly okay if you need to watch me do this that's fine 10 20 30 40 50 60 oh we've got one 10 left again and we can't make it uneven so we're going to have to split the last 10 into half and that means we've got half of 10 is 5 so we've got 5 going to each side so half of 70 is 3 tens and 5 ones half of 70 is 35 chop 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 okay now are you ready for a challenge this is a little bit tricky but I think you can do this so if you want to find two quarters of 16 we've got quite a lot of drawing to do so first of all the bottom number is telling us to draw four boxes let's do that first okay and then let's share 16 in between the four boxes first one come on mister he said it's too hard for him we can do this special agents one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 now look at the top number of the fraction it's not a one anymore this wants me you to tell me how many dots are in two of those four boxes how many is two quarters of 16 count carefully that's right two quarters of 16 is eight well done if you could have a go at that one let's try another challenge three quarters of 24 so first of all ignore the three for now look at the bottom number we need to draw four boxes and we need to split 24 equally first let's get that done first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, made it equal again, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, nearly there, 21, 22, 23, 24, now check out the top number, it's not a 1, it wants us to count how many dots are in 3 of the boxes, count carefully pause the video if you need more counting time three quarters of 24 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 absolutely marvelous challenge well done guys okay three quarters of 20 let's have a go at this one step one bottom number let's draw four boxes out okay next step let's share the 20 between the four boxes let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20. Now this is a challenge because we've got to do a few things to get the answer. So we've worked, we've split 20 into four boxes. I don't want to know one quarter though. I want to know three quarters. Look at that top number. And we've got, we can count in fives. 5, 10, 15. Three quarters of 20 is 15. Absolutely fantastic. Remember, don't tell anybody special agent. See you next time.